Hey, friend, Chris here from MyLogicProRules.com, the website that helps you get the most you can out of Apple's Logic Pro. Today, I have the very special privilege of sharing an announcement with you from a company that I love and am good friends with, which is Apogee. If you follow the channel for any length of time, you know, number one, I love Apple and Logic Pro, but number two, I love Apogee interfaces and plugins. And I've reviewed several products from Apogee over the years here on the channel. I've been very consistent in the products and companies that I support. And Apogee really needs no introduction. I mean, they're kind of the OGs of awesome audio interfaces that bring professional quality to the rest of us. And so today, in collaboration with Guitar Center, Apogee is releasing a limited edition set of their most current version of the Duet. That's the Duet 3. And this limited edition set is limited to 3,000 units. You can purchase only at Guitar Center. I have it right here next to me. And that is the Pro Mobile set from Apogee. This is awesome. It has the Apogee Duet with the Duet Dock, native effects that come with it, DSP effects, and some other software. It is awesome. So we're going to dig into that today. I'm going to show you what's inside the box, how to get started with the audio interface, plus the audio quality that comes from this thing. I've recorded some audio here in my studio that I want to share with you today. So I'll include a link in the description below. That'll take you to Apogee's website if you want to learn more all about this set and where you can pick it up. Limited, again, to 3,000 units. Let's dig into it. So first, who is the duet for? Well, I would say if you're a producer, a musician, even an engineer who doesn't want to sacrifice quality while being on the go in terms of the preamps, the output conversion, DSP effects, native effects. I mean, in fact, there's an entire recording studio basically inside this box. So let's take a look inside the box and what you get when you purchase this limited edition set. Upon opening the box, you're going to be treated to a number of different things that have been paired together for the very first time when it comes to the duet starting with a postcard that has the original schematic of the original duet concept, which is so cool in and of itself. On the back of the postcard is a letter from the CEO herself, Betty Bennett. This letter commemorates the duet and just what this brought to the world of audio production for all of us. Next, you should see a card that includes a license to a couple of different Apogee plugins, including their Pultec emulations, which are the only officially endorsed Pultec emulations endorsed by the company behind the original hardware Pultec EQs. Plus, this also includes a native version of the Clear Mountain Spaces reverb from Apogee, a reverb developed in collaboration with Bob Clear Mountain, famed engineer and producer. Then, of course, you get the Apogee Duet 3, which is a sleek, low profile, fantastic quality audio interface that comes with, for the very first time as a bundle, the Duet Dock. So usually when you purchase the Duet 3, you get a breakout cable. It includes all the inputs and outputs on a single cable that connects to the audio interface. But with the Duet Dock, you have all the ins and outs of this interface in an easy to manage monitor controller type of setup. Then there's a USB-C to USB-C or USB-A cable. There's a cool little adapter that allows you to flip between whatever connection style works best for you. And also included is a license for Melodyne 5 Essentials for pitch correction, a membership for one month to Sound Gym, as well as a license for Ableton Live Lite. Though I suggest you stick with Logic Pro. Let's take a look at the Duet 3 itself now, which is an ultra sleek, low profile, scratch resistant mobile audio interface that provides control to all the different inputs and outputs from a single rotary knob. And I gotta say, I love the purple glow from under the single rotary knob. It looks so cool and so modern sitting on top of the desk. Now from the single rotary knob, you have control over both inputs one and two, as well as the speaker output and headphone outputs. And just by pressing on the knob itself, you can change the focus from input one to input two, speaker output, headphone outputs. And depending on which control is in focus, by rotating the knob, you adjust the input level, either up or down, as well as the speaker and headphone outputs independently just by rotating, again, that single knob. Now, obviously, the ultra low profile of the Duet 3 doesn't provide much room for XLR connection points for a microphone or quarter inch inputs or outputs for instruments or studio speakers or even headphones. On the side of the interface that would face you if you're controlling it, there is an eighth of an inch headphone output, which is really helpful. But on the other side of the interface, there's a slot plus a couple of USB-C connection points, but a slot for either that breakout cable or the included Duet Dock. And you can slide the Duet 3 right into the dock effortlessly. So aside from the eighth of an inch headphone output that faces you, on the dock side, there's an additional quarter inch input for another set of headphones. And these are both controlled independently from the speaker output 
you can control both headphone outputs simultaneously and hear through both outputs with two sets of headphones. After that, there are two XLR connection points for microphones for both inputs one and two. And next to that, additionally, are two instrument inputs, again, for inputs one and two. So unfortunately, you can't use both XLR inputs and both instrument inputs simultaneously. You can't have like two microphones and two instruments all connected and recording at the same time. It's either for input one, XLR, or instrument input, and for input two, same thing, either a microphone or hardware, if you connect it, or an instrument. We'll dig into that with the Apogee Control 2 app. After that is a set of quarter inch outputs for both left and right studio monitors. And lastly, all the way to the right on the dock side are a set of two USB-C ports for namely connecting both the Duet 3 and the dock to either your Mac or an iOS device. So if you're using Logic Pro for iPad, this could be the perfect interface for you. But do note that the Duet 3 is a bus powered interface, so it doesn't require to be plugged into anything other than your Mac or iOS device. Getting started with the Duet 3, the first thing you're going to want to do is go to the Apogee website, register the Duet 3 and dock set that you've purchased. And next, you're going to want to download the Apogee Control 2 app. This is the software direct mixer that provides you with several other controls for the interface from your Mac or iOS device, because there is an app as well that you can download. From there, pretty much you just use that exact action I specified, which is pressing on the control knob to switch the control focus from the different inputs to the different outputs. You can mute each output just by pressing and holding on the knob until you see the LED blink on the unit. And of course, you can increase or decrease the input level, the output level, just by turning that single knob. The Apogee Control 2 application is going to dramatically expand the toolkit for the Duet 3 and Dock at your disposal. Because first, you're gonna be able to switch between the different input types, whether it be a microphone level input, instrument level input, as well as external hardware. If you're using any sort of pro or consumer-based gear that you're plugging directly into the Duet, you just specify the analog input level for the gear that you're going to be connecting and recording with. You can also adjust the input and output levels from the software app itself, enable or disable phantom power, gang the two inputs together, Introduce the soft limit feature, which will ensure that you don't clip at all if your signal happens to be a little too hot. Polarity reversal for multi-mic recording situations. Access control and routing for the direct mixer for latency-free recording. But on each input of the Duet 3, you also have access to DSP print effects in the form of the Symphony ECS channel strip. Developed again in collaboration with Bob Clearmountain, this single channel strip provides you with a three-band EQ that includes a low and high shelf and mid parametric band that can be broad or narrow, a compressor that includes three different ratios, so easy to dial in, and a drive knob for saturation. The Symphony ECS channel strip provides you with a quick and easy way to dynamically and tonally tighten up your tracks, plus add a little vibe with that saturation or drive knob, so you're starting from a dramatically better spot for your productions. All right, so those are all the details related to the Duet 3 and Doc Limited Edition set, but how does the interface and DSP effects and native effects that come with it, how does it all sound? Well, to help me out, I invited a buddy of mine named Jimmy who plays in a band here in town called Shy Tooth, but he might be known to some for his previous band, Polar Bear Club. I invited Jimmy on by to play and record some acoustic guitar and vocals right behind me through the Duet 3, through the ECS channel strip, plus the added pull tech and Clear Mountain Spaces effects. And I wanna show you how these sound right now. All right, so the song that Jimmy recorded with me is called Unspecialized. This is a song with his current band, Shy Tooth. Right here, we have one pass of the vocals that were processed using the onboard DSP effect, the ECS channel strip. So I applied EQ, compression, as well as saturation, and it was printed directly into Logic Pro. So these effects had a permanent impact on the audio recording while directly underneath, we have a vocal take without any of the ECS channel strip. If you look at the waveform, you can actually see that no compression was applied because it's a little more dynamic as compared to the compressed version. If we take a look in the mixer, you can see I'm also applying the Pultec emulations as well as Clear Mountain Spaces to help the acoustic guitar and the separately recorded vocals feel like they're inside the same space. So what we'll do is we'll take a listen to the raw vocal takes, both with the ECS channel strip effect and without back to back. 
For anyone that's curious, I applied more or less the same EQ and compression and saturation to both the acoustic guitar as well as the vocals. This included a high pass filter, about 80 hertz, touch of 4K and above using the high shelf. I reduced around 250 hertz by a couple dB just because it felt a little boomy, some compression at a ratio about three to one, plus some drive to add glue and vibe to both the acoustic guitar and vocal. All right, so let's take a listen to these vocal takes without the pull text, without the reverb. We'll listen to the ECS channel strip and without back to back. I don't think I change the way it was done. Can't seem to dream it, even for fun. Choice ain't the issue. Had more than enough. Burned them all down. Guess I was in love. Well, I, I, I'm unspecialized. I, I, I'm unspecialized. No, I get it. It's a subtle effect, but I mean, just taking a listen to me, the ECS channel strip affected track, it feels more present in the mix with the acoustic guitar. Whereas the unprocessed version feels like it's kind of wavering in and out, feels a little boomy to me. And if we take a look right at the end here, I mean, look at that. That's significantly louder than this take. And, and let me tell you, at the very end, Jimmy was really hitting that compressor on the ECS channel strip. It never felt pinched. It never felt too much. So let's take a listen now to the very end. I, I, I'm unspecialized. Versus. I, I'm unspecialized. Right? I'm unspecialized. Obviously, one is louder than the other, but this one feels contained. It doesn't sound pinched at all. All right, so now let's apply the Pultec emulations to both vocal passes. They're exactly the same for both vocals. If you take a look, I applied a little bit of a boost at 3K, then I reduced around 500 Hertz and added a little further boost at 3K. So now if we apply this to both, take a listen once again. I don't think I change the way it was done. Can't seem to dream it, even for fun. Choice ain't the issue. Had more than enough. Burned them all down. Guess I was in love. Well, I, I, I'm unspecialized. Just further refines it. It just sounds nice. I mean, I'm boosting about 5 dB of 3K, which can get overwhelming in a hurry if I'm not careful. And yet, it feels really nice. I don't think I change the way it was done. Can't seem to dream it, even for fun. Choice ain't the issue. Had more than enough. And then if we add that Clear Mountain Spaces reverb, I don't think I changed the way it was done. Can't seem to dream it, even for fun. Choice ain't the issue. Had more than enough. Burned them all down. Guess I was in love. Well, I. And what I really love about this Clear Mountain Spaces reverb is the included deesser, which will tamp down on those S sounds, that sibilance, that can get a little too overeager with a reverb. If we take a listen, lastly, to the acoustic guitar. Just listen to how boomy this acoustic guitar is before the EQs. Hey, I'm unspecialized. All right, so I hope you can pick up on how awesome this limited edition set of the Duet 3 and Doc actually is. How awesome the interface sounds, how awesome the ECS channel strip as a DSP effect is for printing right to tape into Logic Pro, how awesome the Pultec emulations are, and the Clear Mountain Spaces reverb. So if you want to learn more all about this exclusive bundle being sold through Guitar Center, there's a link down below to Apogee's website. I'll check you for more later this week here on Wide Logic Pro Rules. Take care.